From my childhood, I remember elderflower fritters, elderflower pancakes. My mom used to make them in Germany. Then later on, when I lived in England, I became much more familiar with the folklore and the stories around elderflower bushes and shrubs. And apparently, they are the guardians of your vegetable garden. And if you have a garden and you have an elderflower bush, anywhere near the garden, then the fairies and the elves and the pixies and even the witches might come and visit your garden. I'm Verena Smith. I am going to make this elderflower fritters or elderflower pancakes. I'm using this gluten-free pancake mix. I'm going to make about three cups worth of batter. So here I have the flour and I have two eggs that I will put into it and they are of course organic. You know elderflower is just such a wonderful shrub. I don't know, mm, the smell is just fantastic and I used to actually also make elderflower wine you know, which is a very common thing in England. Many people seem to make elderflower wine. This is a one-woman show because these flowers, I have hunted for them, trust me. I consider myself very lucky because it's just on the edge. Soon they will be overripe and then we go to the other aspect of the medicinal properties. And I'm using sunflower oil because we don't want it to be olive oil or to be too heavy then oh I have to stir this really hard because because it's gluten free it doesn't stick together so well I take this flour like so and then I dip the whole flour can you see the whole flour I dip into the batter mush it around a little bit there we go and now I will lower it into the flame and mind you I have not washed these flowers they are not to be washed that's just not done you can take your scissors and cut off the stalks on this side sometimes that might be advisable here are my scissors I'm gonna do that and the same on this side and then I can lift it up and that will work just very nicely. Ooh, now that looks good, doesn't it? That's very good. I like that. It worked out well. And they are delicious. You can put on them either lemon and brown sugar or cinnamon and sugar mixed together and put on top or maple syrup, however you like. Here is my beautiful elderflower pancake or fritter, whatever the case may be. I'm going to put a little bit of, a little bit, I said, a little bit of maple syrup on mine. <laughs> I will really enjoy it and I think you might want to look up elderflowers or elderberries because there's a lot of research and medicinally it's a very precious plant. It's beautiful and you can use many, many parts of it. Later on, like this is the flower time and you can make the fritters, you can make a cordial, you can make a wine, a champagne type drink, non-alcoholic, alcoholic, whatever you want. And then later on, when the deep purple berries come, you can make cough syrup, you can make uh, an elderberry honey. You, there is some research that tells us that flus and colds respond really well to elderberry, Sambuca nigra, it's called, or Sambuca canadiensis, I think that is the name. Anyhow, to your health either way, I'm going to eat my pancake. So see you again at Delicious in the Kitchen. Okay. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Enjoy.